In the organic chemistry lab, liquids are transferred through the use of a disposable glass pipette and a bulb. Their volumes are attained through several means, but the one that affords the most significant figures is through a graduated cylinder. We will be demonstrating the transferring and measuring of liquids using water with food coloring for easier viewing. Here is our substance, H2O, with food coloring. I'm opening this and will pour it into a reading beaker because you cannot extract liquids directly from their containers. Once I have poured an adequate amount of liquid, I close my container because you never leave a chemical container open to the world. Fada is now ready to measure her liquid. She grabs her pipette and bulb and puts the bulb onto the end of the pipette. But oh no! I think she's done it wrong! Ah yes. The bulb is pushed too far onto the pipette and will not grasp the amount of liquid she wants. She pulls the bulb up, gives it a test squeeze. And yes, success! The liquid is pulled up into the pipette. And now that I have figured it out, I can go to measuring. I move the liquid from the pipette and into the graduated cylinder by squeezing the bulb. Even though my pipetting techniques are not impeccable, it will take a few go-arounds to measure the 8.0 milliliters I am attempting to measure. When measuring liquids, always make sure you measure from the bottom of the meniscus, because if you measure from the highest point at which the liquid touches the container, you'll be thinking you have more liquid than you actually do, and that will be sad for you. Look, I've done it. I've measured 8.0 milliliters of this beautiful colored water. And now I can dismantle my piper contraption. I will pour this liquid into my urn layer flask. I don't know what I'm going to do now, but maybe I'll do something interesting. No, Fade, you will do nothing interesting. You will clean up the mess you have made. Yeah, that's right. Put that pipette into the glass bin. Yep. The pipette bulb goes back into the drawer. No, no, no. Don't pour your used reagent back into its container. Take it to the proper area of disposal, Fade. Please. Okay, okay, I know, I know. I just forgot. Here I am at the sink where it is okay to pour water. But if this was a hydrogenated waste, I would take it to the designated container. And look, I'm just clean, clean, clean. Good job, young scientist. You've done well.